Good evening, and welcome to Trey Sense Presents his 2021 Cologne Awards. You want to see what fragrances I picked for categories like Best Aquatic or Best Blue Fragrance or Most Masculine? Well, meet me on the other side of this intro and we'll get into it. What's going on everybody it is your boy trey sense ll cool trey oh uh, that's right trey belafonte listen got an interesting 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 little review little discussion for you today and what this is this is my personal 2021 fragrance awards now i say 2021 because these are from various years but this is what's in my collection to date and these are some of my favorite fragrances and i will break them down by the category or what it is i like about this fragrance or what category i think it goes in you ready let's get to it the award for the best freshie in my collection in 2021 goes to this one lacoste l1212 blanche white and this is just a fresh fragrance, easy to wear, kind of melony, kind of citrusy. Love it. Let's go. Worst bottle in my collection in 2021. Date for me, an absolutely disgusting bottle design for the price. Now, if this was a $12 fragrance, it'd be fine. But it's not a $12 fragrance and I don't like it. Worst bottle design best blue fragrance in my collection 2021 from the house of YSL and it is La Parfum. Love this fragrance. It smells good. It's masculine. It's mature. sophisticated. It's toned down. Smooth. Refined. I like it. like it a lot. Ah, let's see. Sexiest fragrance. Ooh, sexiest fragrance in my collection for the year of 2021 goes to this bad boy. Oh, Givenchy gentlemen only gentlemen boys a that's a that's a go-getter right there that's a killer that's a killer I'm trying to think should have wrote these categories down now what is this one Ah, this one is most elegant. And it is a tie at most elegant. It's like it's it, it off my phone. Most elegant is from the house of Chanel. Chanel Allure Home Sport. And to me, this is just an elegant fragrance. I think it's misnamed because there's nothing elegant about it. It's just classy. It's, it's got that citrusy to it. It just smells so good and so refined, so sophisticated, so easy to wear. Chanel Allure Home Sport and the second winner is from the house of Sensual Obsessions and it is their version of YSL's Tuxedo. Man, that's nice right there. This to me is the perfect spring, summer, early fall, outside wedding type of fragrance. Every time I wear this, I get a crazy reaction. People love it, women love it, it smells good. I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, best cheapie, best cheapie. From the house of Bentley. It is Bentley for Men Intense. This is an excellent cheapie. Cheapie for me is anything under $30 and for under 30 bucks, it's just hard to, 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 to beat this fragrance. I like it. I like it a lot. I think it smells amazing. It's one that I will always have in my collection. It's one that I recommend that you buy. Yes, it is more of a wintertime fragrance, but nonetheless, it does smell good. Bentley for Men Intense. Ah, I'm trying to think of what category I have for this one. Most distinguished, most distinguished fragrance in my collection.
Y'all like that face? Let me quick one in the Most distinguished fragrance I have in my collection by far. Man, Crease Royal Oud. It's just, this fragrance is just clean. It's masculine. It's sophisticated. It's, goodness, that. That's nice, man. The Oud in it is good. Bottle is beautiful. Yeah, most distinguished fragrance I have in my collection. Creed's Royal Oud. All right, let's see what else. By the way, if you're a reviewer and you're watching this, this isn't, consider this an open tag. Consider this an open tag. Sam, Keith, anybody, JP, Manny, any of you that see this video, consider this an open tag. My favorite fragrance to wear, a best all around fragrance to me, from the house of Chanel, Blue de Chanel. That's my boy, I had to call him back. Blue de Chanel. I absolutely love this fragrance. I think it smells good. The citrus, kind of inciny, just a great fragrance. I absolutely love it. It's, cr it's crowd pleasing, but non offensive at the same time. Just a great little fragrance from the house of Chanel, Blue de Chanel. Uh, my favorite scent to wear. Most overlooked fragrance and least talked about fragrance. I should have put a most overhyped in there, but. This video is about fun and positivity, so I didn't want to do that. Most, even though I did put the ugly bottle thingy in there, I digress. Most overlooked fragrance from the house of Victor Era, and this is Spice Bomb Fresh. This is a gem. It's Spice Bomb with a fresh citrusy opening. I love it. This makes me want to hug it. Best bottle presentation. The Valentino line. Valentino, yeah. Valentino, this is Valentino Umo Aqua, but there's several in this bottle, like Yellow Diamonds I have, Born in Rome I have, Intense, and they all are in this bottle, and I think this is one of the best bottles in the game. Beautiful, classy, it looks elegant, looks like it will cost a lot. The best bottle goes to Valentino. Okay, most masculine fragrance in my collection. Mancera's Red Tobacco. Don't get more masculine than that, man. The whole kit and caboodle, the whole cabane. This is, this is. Man, that's the real deal. <sighs> Crowd pleasing, strong, masculine, amazing performer. Just a great fragrance. I absolutely love it. Good looking bottle. And Mancera is a house that when I get my finances situated, I got some more important things to do. I got some credit cards and things I got to pay off. I'm trying to get things situated for my divorce um, last year. Just buying fragrances is not just top of my list right now. I have hundreds, <laughs> hundreds of fragrances, so I don't really need to buy anything. But when I go back to buying, Mancera is definitely a house that I'm going to delve off into. Mancera, Mantel, Montal, and... Goodness, I can't. My phone is uh, blowing up. Um, what is that? My goodness. You know, they make Interlude Man, Baraka Man. I can't think of the how, name of the house right now. Y'all don't get old, because when you get old, it'll come to me in just a minute. So I'm going to move on. But those are some houses that I plan on delving into. I also want to get into some Eight and Bob. I have a lot of these houses in decants, but. Uh, I don't have full bottle presentations, and I want at least two or three, but it's going to be down the road. But most masculine fragrance for 2021 in my collection is Mancera's Red Tobacco. Best Aquatic, and probably my best fragrance of all, Del Mar from Vlada Sereni. I just talked about this one the other day. This is just a aquatic, done right. It's an aquatic, but it's masculine. Yeah, I love it. Uh... Just a few more, just a few more guys. Best office scent. To me, it goes to Zahara Signature for Home. Cause this is just well made, well blended. It smells good, it smells clean, it's, it's fresh, but it's not like shower fresh or fruity fresh, but it's just got this regalness about it. It's not loud, it's not obnoxious. It just smells like, I'm just gonna be honest, it just smells like money. It smells like 
I've got money. I know what to do with it. And I know what to spend it on. It's a hard off signature per, per home. What's next? Best club, uh, best date night scent. I don't think I, I meant to put best clubbing scent in here, but I didn't get around to picking it out. So, oh well. Best date night scent. To me, it's Wanted by Night. Um, and this was a hard one to pick because any fragrance that smells sexy and romantic is a date night fragrance like um, Date for Men could have been a date night fragrance. So could uh, Dolce & Gabbana The Ones, EDT or EDP. Uh, this gentleman, uh, Givenchy Gentleman could be a date night fragrance. Blue de Chanel goes well on any date night. I mean, so there's several that could have been there. But I went with this one because it's affordable. It smells good. It's easy to find. It's readily available. So you don't have to dig. You don't have to break your pocket. A bottle like this costs you 40, 50 bucks. And it smells really, really good. Great date night fragrance. Okay, I'm about to wrap this up, guys. This video went faster than I thought it would be. Um, best clone goes to Dapper. And it is their version of Gucci per home. This is just outstanding. Mm, 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 that smells good. Fragrance that is most unique, weird fragrance in my collection for 2021. It's from the house of Alexandria. And it is Anis Kiss, Kush. We're just gonna call it Kush. And it's what this smells like is a ash tray that's had weed and cigars in it. Uh, can't imagine anybody wanting to smell like that. It is extremely too hot in Alabama to wear that, but nonetheless, it is. Uh, fragrance that I want in my collection based on the clone goes to Sensual Obsessions, and it is Tom Ford Fabulous. It's one I've wanted in my collection for a while. I want to get it. I like it. It does smell good. I've almost pulled the trigger on it a few times. When I start buying fragrances again, it's one I'll get. I like it. I like it a lot. Best name fragrance goes to the house of genre. And it is Run After My Car. What better name could you have? And what a better place to end this video. All right, guys. That has been Trey Scents Fragrance Awards for 2021. Run After My Car. Best name fragrance. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this. This is something I may do. Uh, again, we can do this with fall fragrances, best 2020 fall fragrances or whatever. I mean, this could go on forever. Again, consider this an open tag. If I had to pick a clubbing scent, oh, man, looking at my collection, if I had to pick a clubbing scent, I might would go with that uh, John Paul Gaultier in the Navy. Or I might would go with one million perfume, which is a very fruity grape scent. Or I might would just go old school and just go with the one million. Uh, yeah, just go with one million. Yeah. But anyway, if you like this video, please let me know. I hope this is the type of content that you like. I hope you enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, I really like it. I really enjoy doing it. I hope you really like it. Uh, I enjoy what I'm doing. I really like reviewing. It's fun. I've met some really great people, some really interesting people. Thank you all for being the best part of this channel. Thank you all for continuing to return to the scene of the crime. Again, consider this an open tag. Uh, I'd like to say God bless you all. Thank you for stopping by. Have a wonderful, wonderful and safe weekend. And until next time, y'all, peace.